Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I have a video that I have wanted, let me just rearrange myself. Um, I've got a video today that I've wanted to do for quite a while and it's talking to you about my favourite like cheaper makeup products and all of the products that you need to try that are all extremely affordable. As I talk about them, I will put the price of the item on screen because there is no way in chance that I am going to remember all the prices in this little old brain of mine. Um, so I'm gonna pop them straight on the screen so you can have a look. As you can probably tell, my voice is still on its way back. It's still a bit husky, still got that sexy phlegm. Also let me know if you'd like to see a video on the other side of things, so like expensive AF makeup or luxury items um, that that are still worth the luxury price tag, um, so like expensive makeup is actually worth it. Um, but today we are going the other end of the spectrum and going cheap, inexpensive, affordable makeup. Yay! Also the sun is kind of deciding whether it's going to set or not, so if the lighting goes like orange and then bright and then all this, all this kind of thing, I'm sorry. So starting with base and complexion and all that good stuff, it's quite a new launch and I tested it in a full face of first impressions and I have been using it every day ever since. I absolutely love it, it's my favourite new cheap foundation, it is incredible. So I have been, prior to this I've been using the Anastasia stick foundation which I absolutely loved but it is on the pricey side. So when I saw this in my PR package collection, this is the all night long medium coverage foundation by Barry M, mine's in the shade Milk and it is just simply a sick foundation. So what I tend to do is do a fan on my head, down the nose, chin, and then three whiskers either side, get a beauty blender and blend that in. And I absolutely love it, I'm wearing that now. I'm wearing the majority of these products now because I just thought it would fit in with the video. And um, I just absolutely adore this. It's so creamy and so easily blendable that you just can't go wrong. It's not cakey and it doesn't separate on the skin. And a lot of stick foundations enhance the dry areas of your face, but this doesn't. It just, oh, it's just seamless and it just looks like a second skin and I love it. And you can build it. It is a medium coverage foundation. If you don't want too much of a covered look, you can put a tiny bit on. If you want higher coverage, then just put more on. You get the trick. And then another Barry M product. I'm like, Barry M, yes. I mean, Barry M to me is a brand that I used in like year seven or like year six. You go to Boots and buy like a glittery pale blue eyeshadow pencil and it was like the best thing ever. But this is the all night long full coverage concealer, again in the shade Milk. This I've worn non-stop ever since. I think this is hands down the best drugstore concealer. That's right, I said it. Better than the one that everyone loves, that I love. This is just absolutely incredible. It's one of these applicators. I never know the name of them. Um, and it comes out so creamy. It is nice and thick and it's, you can do the, you can really do the Kim K highlighted look if you want to. But I just pop a bit under the triangles of my eyes and then on any imperfections, beauty blend that in and it's just flawless. Like I, I can't recommend this enough. I think like this is one of the products that I'd be like, please try this. Sorry if you can hear Rupert snoring, my little dog is just having a little nap. So I have a little complexion palette here. This contains a quad of a bronzer, a highlight and two blush shades. This is the collection Blush and Glow. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's such a nice contour shade. It's not ashy, but it's not too warm toned either. So you can use it as a contour for the hollows of your cheeks, but also to warm up the face. We've got two really lovely blush shades and then a highlight. I've never really, well, I have used the highlight, it is used. Um, the highlight is not my fave. I'll talk about highlight in a mo. Um, but the other three I absolutely love and I think this is a brilliant, brilliant product. I believe they sell these individually anyway. So if you're just looking for a contour, then check out the collection contour, but I love collection as a brand anyway. Cutting on with collection. Uh, if you like a cream highlighter, then this is the collection Speedy Highlighter. So it just looks like this. You can just apply it to there and then down the nose. And it absolutely, like it's, it's so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. And then if you want a powder highlight, I highly recommend the Topshop powder highlight. I love Topshop makeup. I think it's really, really well made and good quality. This is the powder highlight in Crescent Moon. And Topshop has really cute packaging as well. I just wish it had a mirror. Um, but look at that, wow. Yeah. This one's a bit more goldy than the other one, but I just absolutely love this highlight. I have so many eye products to show you, so I'm gonna quickly talk through some of these. So another collection product, 
the again this is fairly new and I wore this in my uh, testing full face of new in makeup this is the collection glam crystals liquid eyeshadows now I don't know how many there are of these I don't know how, what the color range is but I have these two and these are the most ideal for me I have this rose gold shade which is the shade divine number two and then this perfect bronze shade which is karma number four so this one oh I just absolutely love them they look like this, they're just the cream eyeshadows, you apply them, you dab them in, I've got it on as a base today, you can of course use it by itself and then just kind of like blend it out, pat it in, or like I've been doing, I've been applying this and then getting another eyeshadow palette and popping it on over the top, it's just the perfect, perfect base, so highly recommend those. And then if you're looking for a matte eyeshadow base, I absolutely love these, these are from Kiko, this is the best, the best one. What shade is this? 28, it doesn't have a name. This is the Kiko Makeup Milano Long Lasting Stick 8 Hour No Transfer Eyeshadow. Looks like this, it is very used. And it's just like this. They don't describe it as an eyeshadow base at all, they just describe it as a cream eyeshadow stick, but it's, it's absolutely incredible. Like I absolutely love this. And you just pop it on, blend it out, works a dream. So I've got yet another collection of products. This is probably one of the first collection products I ever used when I was younger. This is the collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, back when it was called Collection 2000. This is just a little dip pot liquid liner, but the reason I absolutely love this is because the nib, the brush, is so nice and thin so you can really control the wing that you are creating. And as you know, I can't, I, if I put makeup on, I can't not have a wing. Like it just, I look not finished. Um, and this just completes the look. I'll tell you something I'm missing from my selection here are any cheap brow products that are actually really good. So, little challenge for you. If you use a really, really amazing cheap brow product, then let me know them down in the comments below. Because at the moment I'm using a combination of YSL, Anastasia, and pixie so they can be quite pricey so let me know if you've got any cheaper alternatives oh my good gracious i've used this mascara for the longest time if you're a long time watcher you will know this one this is the l'oreal false lash superstar mascara the two-in-one the double-ended product of joy so on one end we have a white mascara which is the mascara primer i just absolutely love this so i give my eyelashes a curl i apply the primer which is a white mascara it can look kind of crazy if you've never used one before i don't know why you wouldn't use one it makes such a difference it ensures the curl holds and it makes the mascara thicker and longer and it, oh, it's just flawless and then number two is the normal black mascara which is a curved brush and it's just incredible it's such an amazing drugstore product like so fabulous and it's so worth it like this could be so much more expensive than it is but it's actually so super affordable and I love it so I was thinking about inexpensive eyeshadow palettes and the price point and things like that now there's a lot of cheaper quads out there but I wanted to share with you my favourite like big palette and this one's only £10. I think they can be £8 depending on where you get them. Um, this is the W7 in the nude natural nudes eye colour palette and these are so fabulous. There's 12 eyeshadows in here. It did come with a brush but that is... Oh sorry! Sorry Bubba! Just woke. Just woke the prince. Um, the brush is long gone. But it's this, and obviously it is a dupe of the Urban Decay Naked 3, so I've got some lovely array of rose gold tones. It's got pinks, browns, bronzes, a nice base shade. It's basically the exact same, and I absolutely love it, and you can tell I've very much enjoyed using this. And the colours are just so nicely pigmented. Like, it's just, oh no, where do I wipe it? My leg. My leg will have to do. Um, I just absolutely love it. Like, oh, these beautiful mauvey tones. I'm so here for this palette. And uh, it's so, so affordable for what it is. And then finally, the final section is lip products. I have three that I wanted to talk to you blah, 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 blah. I have three that I wanted to talk to you about. The first being Bourjois. This, the Rouge Edition Velvets, I absolutely adore. I wear a dark red one quite often. If you see my Instagram stories of like nights out, I'm often wearing like a dark red. It's always, always a Bourjois Velvet liquid lipstick. I love them. This one is in the shade 07. And it's just a really, really nice Your Lips But Better shade. And um, they're so long lasting, they're not drying. You can eat, yes. You can drink while wearing it and it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't smudge anywhere. I just absolutely love them. And lipstick, you know, I love and adore the Topshop lipsticks. Everyone says that they're the same like company or dis 
Dributa as Mac, but I don't I don't know if that's true. Um, but they're definitely like on par with quality and long lastingness and colour range and all that. My favourite has to be the shade Petal. Couldn't find it. Um, so instead I'm going to show you Devotion which is this beautiful mauvey shade. Again, I think Topshop have come out with a whole range of different like lip products. There's bullets, there's matte liquid things, there's crayons, there's all this, but these are just the original classic lipsticks. They're just called lips. Um, and they're so nice and moisturizing. And again, the color selection is just great. And I just love the Topshop packaging. And then last but not least, I have my final Barium product. Again, this is quite a new launch and I think these are absolutely incredible, especially this shade. Like I absolutely love it. So this is a Barium Matte Me Up Matte Liquid Lip Paint and Lip Liner. Mine is in the shade Ride or Die. So I actually got sent the entire collection, which was so generous of them, and I just had to try them all. This is by far my favourite. As you can tell, it's just such a meat colour. So in here, you get the lip liner and a lipstick. I think this is so great. The only thing is, is the lip liner. I wish it was like a retractable wind-up, because I... Despise, I don't despise but like I much prefer the retractable ones other than a pencil that you have to manually sharpen but I really like the consistency of the lip pencil because it's not sometimes when you first use it it's too sharp and then it breaks and it's drying but this is really nice and creamy and then the actual liquid lipstick obviously you can use this by itself and it's still fabulous but this just makes it long last a bit longer this is so lovely to apply, like it's so wet to apply and then it just dries and it's like, oh wow. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like if I had to say to you, please, please go and try three of these products. I would say the Barry M Lip Kit with this because it's in Royal Dye because it's absolutely beautiful. The Barry M Concealer, hands down. And then the Collection Glam Crystals Liquid I should know. I always forget what these are called. Like, if I had to say three of them, I would say those three because they're just absolutely amazing. So, those are the cheap makeup products that are definitely worth trying that I wanted to share with you. I really hope you enjoyed this. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you do. Let me know your favourite cheap products in the comments below. Obviously, I know that Poundland have makeup and all this, but these are just the cheaper items. Obviously these aren't the cheapest makeup products in the world, but these are on the cheaper scale. So I don't want any, anyone to be offended. Um, that's not my intention at all. I just wanted to share with you like affordable makeup products that are actually amazing. So yeah, let me know all of your recommendations down below as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!